to go ahead and start and we're going to take our test first so if you want to number your paper so number your paper 1 through 15 and this is spelling test and it's three to four letter words Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number 10, these are going to be a little harder. These are four-letter words. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14.
And the last one is number 15. Number one, she. Number two, get. Number three, why. Number four, all. Number five, boy. Number six, now. Number seven, guy. Number eight, say. Number nine, tax. Number 10, snow. Number 11, park. Number 12, girl. Number 13, help. Number 14, bake. And number 15, date. So which letter are you still struggling with? <clears throat> w and F? Well, W, I mean, if you do like the three. If that's what I'm trying to do. Three. Yeah, the three and and there are three there are three fingers for the W and there's three fingers for the F, but if you kind of do like I don't know, I guess it's just something with practice. It'll kind of start to stick in the W and the F. Okay, which are there any other letters that you're struggling? The P. I think I saw in your mouth. I think I saw you say V. Yeah. Did you say V? Yeah. V. Because you do put up two fingers, but then you put your thumb yeah. in between. So um, two fingers up, and your palm is facing. So all the letters, just to clarify, all the letters are not palm out. Like A, B, C. So the palm is to the side with C, not facing out. So you have A, B is out. C is to the side, D is to the side, E is out, F, G is actually the palm is in. So G, the palm is in, G and H, and then I goes back out, J, K, the palm is in. So you're not doing like this, that would be difficult to turn your palm out. So your palm is actually facing in for K, L, your palm is out, M, N, O, your palm is to the side. P, you're actually, your palm is facing this way, P. Then Q, palm is this way, Q. R, palm out. S, palm out. T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All of these are palm out. So maybe what could help you with the W is that with W, your palm's out. Would that help to remember that? Because the F, your palm is not out. Well, actually, I take that back. Scratch that. F is palm out. So, yeah, it is kind of hard. Like, how can you figure out, you know, I guess like in the center of your fingers, the three, the three middle fingers is the W, the three middle. So... Yeah, you have, yeah, the three, like, yeah, and they're straight, they're just straight up where, you know, I mean, that's straight up too, but um, 
So those are your letters, uh, A through Z. So now I'm going to let you practice your introduction with each other. And so we did, um, hello, my name is, fingerspell your first name, fingerspell your last name, and then you have your first sentence and your second sentence, and I believe this is now your third sentence. We'll do, we'll practice that together now, and then um, go to um, introduce yourself to everyone in the classroom. So go ahead and do that. If you need to practice or if you forgot a sign, I can show you the sign. And I did have my coffee this morning. We went We went to that one. It was either I think it was last Saturday or two Saturdays ago. It was on a Saturday and I mobile ordered and showed up and I mean the cars were lined all the way out the road and then when I went in there were so many people in the the lobby area and I was like oh my goodness and I had ordered before I got there and I was like is it always like that always, yeah. always? okay so don't especially yeah, Saturday oh boy yeah. Okay, so you're, if you're dominant right hand, so you take your left hand and you make like a circle. So it looks like you're holding a cup, but you don't like squeeze it. You, all your fingers are touching like that. And then you take a S, and it looks like you're holding a stirring stick, a stir stick. And then you stir it around. That's coffee. So, um, so that's coffee, and then T looks like the F, the letter F. You do the same thing, but it looks like you're holding the string of the tea bag, and you just stir it around. So T and coffee. T, T, and coffee. Like you're grinding the coffee grounds. Now you do it. Turn the other way. There, there you go. Turn that way. Yes. So it looks like you're grinding the coffee. And then T is just your, your um, and so uh, every little movement that you make with signs is extremely important because there's a lot of signs that look very similar. Many signs look similar. Like, so this is T, but then this is vote. So vote, like you're putting your name in the ballot, vote and T. So movement, movement is very important. Okay. So, um, so we're doing the introductions to each other and we're doing, um, hi, my name is, and then we're doing, um, so three sentences, the first, hi, my name is the second and the third. You should have a total of seven sentences in your paragraph, in your bio. So if you don't have, later, later you can add, or if you have, if you have over seven, later remove um, some of the sentences, because we want to sign, we're going to add a sentence um, each week. So. Well, because the first class we did um, A through Z, and then we started um, the second class on doing our introduction. So, so that's really seven sentences. Well, the number thirty. Thirty. It's a hard to tell here. Is it? Am I closing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm closing. Yeah. And your fingers are open, so you don't. Yeah, you don't do this because that's no. That's the sign for no. Uh, nope. Nope. It's because it's N O, so they put it together. They put the N O together. That's how you can remember that it's two fingers because N has two fingers. 
So the sign for no is in, is like this. And this yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. And if you okay, so you're doing thirty. Yes. So it looks like you're doing a three zero, but but you're not doing a zero with all the fingers. You're just doing a zero. You're just doing the zero with the three fingers like this. Three zero. Three zero. Well, I I play the piano, and it's been a long time since I played the piano, and so now the church that I'm going to, they don't have a piano player. Piano player, remember the person ending, so piano player. Uh, so they don't, they didn't have a piano player, so um, I offered offered to play the piano. And when I started, because I have a piano at home, my, my husband luckily had, his daughter was taking piano lessons. So lucky he had, because I have a piano in Florida, but I didn't have a piano here, but my husband had a piano. So it had been a long time since I played the piano and I had to go to the chiropractor because um, right up in here, it got really tight up in here, and the chiropractor had to pull these, and I couldn't do it myself. Like I was trying to, you know, bend it and pop it, and I could not. And he had, I go to a really good chiropractor. She was, talk, she was talking about finger, finger spelling and how you don't realize how your tense your fingers are which is why it's so important when you, you know, form your letters that you don't tighten up like, you know, you don't tense up when you're, it should be very flowy and it should be very loose. So that's why that's, I think the E is the one that gets people because they're trying to make it so tight and you can feel the difference when you're pulling it way in versus when you just kind of relax it. You can feel the tension right here. And that's why um, interpreters can get carpal tunnel syndrome because if they're interpreting and um, signing and spelling a lot for a long period of time, um, I've, I have interpreter friends that's actually had surgery because they got carpal tunnel syndrome and they had to have surgery. They can still interpret, but they can't interpret for like a long time like an all day presentation or something, they can't interpret for a long period of time. So you have to take care. That's why if you have um, a job interpreting and the assignment is more than two hours, it's required to have two interpreters, team interpreters, and then they go back and forth. So it's usually like 15 to 20 minutes and then they'll switch in 15, 20 minutes and they just go back and forth like that because then you're allowing your hands to rest and not like signing a lot. So, yes. Am. It's is, are, am, be. My is possessive. There you go. My, 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 my is possessive. Open hand possessive. Just think of, just think of when something's possessive, when something's possessive, you're reaching out and grabbing it. So just think you open your hand and you grab it. Mine. That's mine. Think about kids going, mine. It's mine. And kids do that. Mine. Right? They gesture that. Yeah. Good. How how old is your daughter? Two. That's a wonderful age. Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. Remember, remember, no voice. No voice because you want the other person to un try to understand what you're signing. So after nine, you do one month two months, three months, four months, five months, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten months. Ten months. Okay. And. And. This is three. You have to do three year. Three year. Okay, so don't do the thumb up there. Actually, you're going to put this finger here. Three-year-olds. Three-year-olds. We index, touch your right shoulder, and you come around, touch your left. Yeah, we. I don't think I did this. We enjoy playing outside. So, um, so we're, the next lesson... I'm actually going to be showing you classifiers. Okay, so this would be a good time to show you the classifier for we when you're talking about just two people. Okay, so if, you, if you're talking about we and it's a lot of people, you do this because you're incorporating everyone. We, everyone, we. But if you're just talking about two people, um, the classifier you say, my son, three, right? And make sure it's this finger coming from the chin, three. And then when you're talking about we as in two people, you and I, then you hold up two fingers, turn them in, and you go, you and I. So we as in the two of us. So think two of us or we, meaning just two people. Okay. We... And don't do the thumb like a K, but you're actually doing the number two. So your thumb is down here, and you're just doing like this. You and I, we. We enjoy. Enjoy. And your fingers are closed. There you go. Play. Play. So it's two Ys, and you just um, you do play like this. Or you can do play. Outside. Outside. Oh, that's easy. Outside. I mean, yeah. I thought it would be something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> like joking and playing the same thing. Playing. Joking is like teasing. So joking is different than playing. Playing is like, you know, like toys, playing, children playing. Um, I'm just playing. Yeah. Or I'm just kidding, kidding or joking. Is like this. Kidding, I'm kidding with you. I'm joking with you. Or teasing. Kidding, joking, teasing. Okay. Is there a sign for swimming? Okay, so. Swimming. Just you're making the motion like you're swimming. 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 Swimming, like you're making the motion like you're swimming. Like this, right? So you, yeah. So this, this part of your hand, you actually turn it around. There you go. Oh, okay. So like there you go. Okay. So, we... so Maya, do we again. Do it again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So your, your index goes out and your middle comes in. Does that feel weird to you? Kind of, yeah. It's like stretching mine. Yeah. The two, the two of us. Two of us. Two of us. Well, I think it's because you're trying to move your wrist. Is you move your hand? There you go. I think that's why, because you're trying. You're that's why, because you're trying to do this. But it's actually you take your two, you turn it around. This finger kind of sticks. Yeah, like that. You don't try to do the number two like straight up, but you actually. Pull. It is. It's like you're pointing, like you're, this middle finger is pointing to you. And your hand moves, not your wrist. So, yeah, does that, does that feel a little better? Okay. It, yeah, sometimes you just do it and you don't really think about it. But when you slow yourself down and you go, okay, it's like you're pointing out with this finger and then in. So the two of us. And if you're talking about three people, you do three fingers and you do the three of us. The three of us. And you can do the four of us. You can do the five of us. So the two, the two of us is just back and forth. Two of us, the three of us, the four of us, the five of us. Instead of doing we, which is just kind of general. Enjoy. 
Or yep. Okay. Fingers closed. The other way. No, wait, you did it right. <laughs> you did it right. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep, and it comes from the kind of like this, yeah. outside yeah right just kind of out okay. it's like you're pulling yourself out so do wife like this I know in the book it shows you this but I want y'all to be more you know meshing with the signs that are used now more so it's just you know you don't even have to touch the face like you don't have to touch here or even here, but it's, it's literally just like in the air. It's from this level. So it's more, it's out, but like from this level. So you come from here down. Husband, you just do your hands like this, down. So husband, wife, husband, wife. And what's the, adding stuff, what's of? Of? Yeah. Uh, well, you fingers, of what? We'll just say wife of seven years. You don't need the of. So you just wife, uh, wife, seven years. So she's been your wife for seven years. So wife, seven years. Uh, I wanted to show you H because I know the G, when you do G, you put your thumb out. But when you do H, you don't put your thumb up like that. So you actually hold your fingers down when you do H, mm -hmm. like that, okay. Turtle, there is a sign for turtle, yeah. She reptiles Lizard, uh, I think it's L, and I think it's like going up the arm, lizard. You can actually, um, you can actually look on YouTube, uh, type in search, you know, you can type in a word, uh, lizard in American Sign Language, and you can you can look at the YouTube, and they'll show you different signs. So if there's ever if there's ever a sign you're not sure how to a word you're not sure how to sign it, you can look at YouTube. Yeah, they're they're pretty good. I still do it. I still do it. I mean, I forget words. I'm like. Oh. I know there's a sign for that word. I don't remember it, especially the countries, because I don't use the countries very often. Animals is another one. You don't use it very often, but there's a lot of good animal signs. Not every animal has a sign. You know, not every word has a sign. Sometimes you simply have to fingerspell it. That's why the, your alphabets are so important. Finger spell, J U L Y. So you have um, January, you just do J A N. So you don't finger spell the whole. So the months, the names of the months, you don't finger, finger spell the whole word out. So it's January, February, March, you do all of March because it's short. April, you do all of April. May, short, May. June short, July short, July, August is just A-U-G, August, September. Some people do September because it's in the fall and they do September, but September is just S-E-P-T, September. October is just O-C-T, October, November, N-O-V, November. December is D-C. So if it's a long name, they just do like the three letters, but if it's a short name, then you finger spell the whole name of the month. Okay. Good question. These are good signs to know, you know. What's your birthday? My birthday is April 7th. Yeah, it was the date, what was it, two days before Easter. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow is your birthday. Ah, oh, well, happy birthday. Of course, I'm not going to see you tomorrow, so happy birthday. Good. How do you say shop? Shop? 
uh, this is store, this is store, and then um, shop is your left hand. If you're right hand dominant, you hold out like you're holding something in your hand. And then it's like this is holding money and you're paying out a lot of money. You're, you're shopping is where when you say you're, you say I'm going to the store, I'm going to the store. That's just one place, right? But if you're shopping, that indicates that you're going to multiple stores, right? So you're going, when you're going to multiple sh stores, you're buying stuff, consistently buying stuff. So shop. So you kind of, you kind of like shop. You don't have to move around, you know, you can move around or you can just stay in one place and say shop. Yesterday, I went shopping. Shopping. Okay. Are you left-handed? Yeah. Okay, so if you're, if you're left-handed dominant, then always remember that you're going to make the motions with your left yeah. hand. So if any of the, if you have a two-handed sign and one of the hands is stationary, it's going to be your right hand. And your left hand's gonna move. I so. Yeah. Okay. Is there a sign for pets? Pets, yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can be specific. Like, are you talking about all reptiles? I'm just trying to find ways to say mine because, like, I didn't know how to sign lizard. So I yeah, know. I think. Yeah, I think this is lizard. You can you can so look can on YouTube. Them. Write that down. But pets, and don't do it forward, you come towards you, pet. It's like, think of petting um, your animal on the, on the top of the head. Okay. All right. So I think we're finished with the introduction. So we'll go on to, um, I'm going to show you number one through one million. So y'all ready? One through one million. You ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this will be fun. And remember, this is being videotaped, so you can go back and look and practice. And then next week, we'll have a test. So, okay. Ready? All right. And copy me. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, your hand is towards you, palm towards you. Eleven, all you're doing is flicking your finger up. Eleven, and when you flick your finger up, don't put your thumb out. So you flick it up, and then your thumb is still down. Hold it down. Eleven, twelve is you flick two fingers up. And make sure the fingers are not, when you flick them up, make sure they're not close together. You flick them up just like you're doing the number two. Okay, fingers apart. Okay, 13, your fingers are together. And then you just wiggle your two fingers down. Your thumb just stays where it is, 13. 14, you take four fingers. They are close together. And then you just wiggle them. That's 14. 15, you put your thumb out. Put your fingers together, 15. Okay, 16, you put your thumb inside your pinky and there's two ways to sign 16. You can either just um, twist your wrist, 16, which is what I like to do, 16, or you can do like 16 like this, 16. 17, you can do like 16, and then 17, you can just wiggle. Um, your thumb slides up and, or your finger, ring finger goes up and down your thumb, 17, or you can twist for 17, 17. 18, same thing. You can either, your middle finger goes, slides up and down your thumb. Your middle finger is the one that's moving. Or you can twist for 18. Same for 19. Your index finger can slide up and down your thumb for 19. Or you can twist for 19. Okay? 20 looks like, it looks like an L. And then you're just going to close it. 20. 20. And thank you. Okay. So 21 and then uh, 21, 22 is just 2, 2 or 2, 2, 2, 2 or 2, 2. You can do, you can just move your hand or you can kind of go down, 2, 2, 2, 2. Yeah. Okay. 23, we'll go back to 23. 
So 23 is you just wiggle the middle finger, 23. 24 is L4, fingers are open, L4. 25 looks like the I love you, and you wiggle the two middle fingers, 25. 26 is L6, 27 is L7. And you will see some people do 26 like this, 2, 6, but it's easier to do it like this easier on your hands. L6, 27 is L7, 28 is L8, 29 is L9. Then you have 30, 30 is 3, 0, and then you have 31, 32, 33, 33, just like the 22, 33, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and then 40 is 4, 0. So really the 20s are the only ones that kind of seem a little different because instead of doing the 2, you kind of do the L, okay? So I'm not going to do all of like 41 through, you know, so it's 40 and then 41 on 50, 51 on 60, they're all the same. 70, all the way through 80, 90. Okay, so the, the only one that's different after you get to 90, 99, then you have 100. So what is the Roman, Roman numeral for 100? Nope. The letter C. So the letter C is the Roman numeral for 100. So you do one and then you do the letter C. So 100, and instead of doing 100, you just go 100, 100. You just pull back, 100, 100. And make sure your thumb's not out. Make it a one. So you go 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, so five, your fingers are open, but then when you're making the C, your fingers are closing. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Now, when you do 101, you can do 101. You don't have to do 101. You can just say 101, 102, 103. If you're doing 145, you just do one, and you can go 100, 145. So you don't, yeah, you don't even make the C. You just say 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Then after you do all your 100s, then you do 1,000. So 1,000 uh, is the M, right? The Roman numeral M is 1,000. So you do one. And it's supposed to be an M, but you just, you don't have to like form the M, but you do 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. So 100, 1,000, 10,000, 300,000, and then million is two times on your hand. So 1 million, 1,000. 1 million, and then it goes billion, trillion. So 1 um, billion three times. So 1,000, 1 million, 1 billion. And then you go on and on. And then you just fill in it, all the numbers in between. So easy. Can you reiterate 30 and then this? 30. 30. So like I'm 32, so i you don't, so you don't close it. So you don't go 32, you just say 32, 32, mm -hmm. 32. Any other numbers that you want? And then just like with, uh, you left-handed or right? Right, that's, that's right, you did both. So when you're doing your numbers like 32, don't go 32 because I know you're trying to make it to where the other person is reading you but you actually go from the middle out. So you go 32, 32. So you go middle, out. And if you're left-handed, middle, out, 
32. And you don't do 32, so you go 32. 34. So you don't do the zero. Same with 45. You do 45. You don't do 45. Because that looks like 405. If you do that, it looks like 105. That looks like 405. Okay. Okay. Any others with the numbers that you want? Okay. So you can watch the video and practice. And then next week we'll have a test. One through... One, I'll just do 1,000. I'm not going to do million. I'm not going to make you try to remember a million and billion and trillion. Yeah, million. That's the easy one. Test next week, one through 1,000. Okay. That's it. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful day.